Today I'm gonna unveil my trick how to grow long and volumetic eyelashes. And it's orangutan safe. Wow. Yeah, that's why I look so young. <laughs> my secret. Wow, after so many years and I realize it's just now. let me thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm gonna unveil my trick how to grow long and volumetic eyelashes, which at the end needs just a bit of mascara or in the laziest case only an eyelash curler. Basically I'm gonna show you how I trim my eyelashes for more than 10 years and I will tell you all my advices. Finally I will bring you to my favorite beauty salon where I get an extra eyelash tint and lift so my lashes end up looking like from some mascaras ad. But before all of it, let's go shopping some of my favorite products. Hi guys, right now I'm at the chemist, just about to get a new pair of hairdressing scissors to show you how I trim my eyelashes. So, obviously I didn't get the scissors. <laughs> I will have to go to another chemist. But that's all good, uh, still I want to quickly show you what I got today, but first of all, please guys, if you can support one less plastic bag, if you can carry your textile bag, that's great for the environment. So I got my first thing, Collagenics Beauty Dust, blueberry flavor, it's on sale, which I'm super happy, otherwise one of these packages cost $24 and today there was a discount and it cost me less than $18 so I straight away got three of them it's a marine collagen which consists 5000 milligrams of hydrolyzed collagen and also vitamin C and zinc which is good to support each other when you take it that's what I read <laughs> and then uh, yeah so I use in here you will find 15 and it lasts me for like a week it means i use two per day that's the maximum dosage yeah that's why i look so young <laughs> my secret but i will talk more about uh, collagen in another video so don't forget to subscribe uh, then i got myself organic cotton pads to remove the makeup kids go so bar it's made of goat's milk and she butter, glycerin of course, it's organic. And I got two of those. I like to get the kids products because uh, you know that uh, there wouldn't be any harsh chemicals as kids have a very gentle skin and also fades. And it's orangutan safe, wow. No nasties because we love our kids, that's what they say. I don't really know about the ingredients, if they are good or no good, but they do good for my skin. I love this. It's very gentle, smells good, and my skin stays smooth. I use this product more than a year, even two years, I think, and it really does magic with my skin. I'm not saying I got rid of my acne because of this, but I'm sure it was partially helpful on my journey with getting rid of my acne so that's all what i got and let's cut my eyelashes now at the end i've decided to refresh my old pair of rusty but still very sharp scissors i tried to soak them in the vinegar for about 12 hours then i used my old toothbrush and got rid of the rust completely lastly i rinsed them and wiped with the tissue properly And let's do it now. All what you will need is a pair of sharp scissors and a mirror. As a first thing, you should know that you have to be extra careful and aware because you are going to manipulate with a sharp object around your eye area. My eyelashes are quite long now, but of course at the beginning they were much shorter. What I'm trying to say is that if you are a beginner, try to don't cut more than one millimeter. I'm going to cut 2 millimeters today because I know that the final result is not going to be so drastic. Lashes should be clean without any mascara on it. 
I always cut them when they are dry, but today I decided to make a little experiment. I'm going to keep my right lashes dry, but I will wet the left side. I must admit that with this experiment I just realized that cutting wet eyelashes is much easier because they get darker and they are more visible and easier to cut. Wow, after so many years and I realized it just now. If one day you guys decide to cut your eyelashes then please let me know in the comment section below what tactic do you personally prefer. Of course, for right-handed people it's harder to cut the left side but there is always a way how to do it. Probably you will feel a bit weird to go out with these short eyelashes, but to show you that it isn't so bad, I'm going to curl them and apply some mascara. It's the same like with the hair, more often you cut them, faster they will regrow. It used to took me good 3 months to fully regrow them back. Now I feel they are back in 2 weeks. I used to cut them every 3 months. Now I do it only like twice a year. Trimming isn't doing good for you, then stop doing it. We have to keep in mind that eyelashes meant to protect our eyes. You might experience an itchiness around your eyelids. I compare it to shaving, uh, when our body is trying to regenerate the disturbed areas. Just let it be and don't scratch your eyes. I'm planning to do more similar videos in the future, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. But let's go now to that beauty salon. That's right, for those of you who are watching my channel longer must be the salon familiar. It is the same salon where I got my lips tattooed. Girls who's working there convinced me to get my eyelashes tinted and lifted. Both procedures took about an hour to be completed and it didn't hurt at all. In fact, I almost fell asleep there on their heated seat. As you can see, my lashes are completely clean and dry. Natalia has placed an eye pad underneath my eyes, keeping the bottom lashes covered. Then she glued a special shield on my upper eyelids. Step by step, she lifted my lashes up by using a lifting tool and special adhesive. After 10 to 15 minutes, she removed the product, same as top shield, by using a cotton pad and washing it off with a lukewarm water. Then she wiped it with a dry cotton pad. She kept the bottom iPad still on. Right away she started the tinting process. She left tint for about 5 to 10 minutes to dry out and voila, it looks so natural compared to heavy lumpy mascara. 
Now I'm gonna show you photos after. For me personally, is this procedure very practical? It is also due to fact that the tin is waterproof, so when I'm at work chopping up the onions, I don't end up looking silly. But on the other side, I agree it is quite pricey. In this salon, for both procedures, you end up paying 80 Australian dollars. That's the reason why I'm thinking to do it only occasionally. I might just go and get the tint, which costs only 20 bucks, and do the curling part at home. I guess that cutting eyelashes seems crazy for you, but I have tested on my own skin and it works. The main thing is that I didn't get blind. I wish you all the best guys. I will see you in my next video.